How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm working on a Jeep Cherokee. It's a 2015 model, it's got the 3.2 litre V6 engine and the customer complaint was a running rough problem but it was intermittent. So at times it was running absolutely fine and other times it was running a bit rough. So in this video I'm going to show you what that was and how we fixed it. <laughs> So before I even looked at the car, the first thing I did was have a better chat with the customer, get an understanding of the intermittent rough running, and the customer advised that when it was cold, it was fine, but as it heated up, the problem started to show up and it started to run a bit more rough after that. So with that, I plug in the scan tool and I get a fault code reading. Fault codes that are stored are three, and it's P0202, fuel injector two, circuit slash open, P0302, cylinder 2 misfire, P0300, multiple cylinder misfire. Now a quick analysis of those fault codes gives me an indication based on that P0202 fuel injector 2 circuit open. If you have a circuit open on number 2 fuel injector, you're going to have a misfire caused from that. And that was the one that I wanted to focus in on first and foremost. The fact that it was a hot um, fault as well, so as the vehicle heated up, gave me an indication that that injector could be failing as the vehicle heats up. Now, the next thing I had to consider is how long I'm going to have the vehicle for for testing and if the customer will be happy to leave it with me based on parts, etc. So I, no I had another quick chat with the customer. Customer gave me the green light to do whatever I needed and get the vehicle running right so with that based on the information I had I made a very quick decision to get the manifold off I had limited wiring diagram um, information available to me I also had no spec um, data on what the injector resistance should be but I did have a comparison test I can do and I can check all of the known good injectors for resistance and then have a read of the faulty potential injector and see what that's reading. So I get the manifold off, I go straight for cylinder number two and it reads 41 ohms of resistance. Now based on experience and what roughly injectors should be, anywhere from let's say 10 to 15, 16 ohms of resistance, approximately, that's a good guideline. Now some of them can be a little bit lower, some of them can be a bit higher, that's just a guideline. But what we do have in this case is comparison, so we don't even need to guess. We can check cylinder number four, which had 15 ohms of resistance approximately, and cylinder number six had 13 ohms of resistance. The other bank also had very similar readings. None of them were less than 12, none of them higher than 15. So we had a 12 to 15 ohms of resistance range on the known good injectors. So with that bit of information, the 41 ohms of resistance, I go ahead and I order the new injector. I didn't even binge test it at this point. I could see it was out of spec and I could see there was an issue that needed to be resolved. The binge test that you can do on an injector is a one I'm showing here. I brought the injector back and I did this test later on just to show you how you can check it out home if you have an intermittent fault with your injector and now we have it set up I'm just gonna start applying heat here And as you can see with that bench test there, a very simple setup where you just hook it up to your multimeter, ohms resistance, hot gun, apply heat and look to see if the resistance goes out of range. This went into an open line setting, which means completely gone. And then as it cools down, it comes back to possibly within range depending on your injector and how out of spec it is. This is still way out because that's mega ohms. Now back to this one here, I get the new part, I check the resistance, make sure it's within spec before I install and as you can see it's perfect, that's exactly what we want to be seeing. I install it, put everything back together, I then clear the fault codes and now we are ready for a road test. I'm on the 
final road test now with this Jeep. The injector is installed. We have cleared the fault codes and everything is running like it should. No warnings have come back on in the dash and we have all cylinders now working with no misfire present. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ooh, ooh.